National President of Middle Bay Forum has warned that Northern governors are seeking the breakup of Nigeria by their resolve at their Kaduna meeting that power would not shift to the South in 2023. According to Vanguard, MBF President Dr. Beatrice Pogu described the position of the governors as a threat to the unity of the country and a dangerous signal that could threaten the foundation of the country. He also reminded them that they were not speaking for the people of the Middle Bay who should not be classified as Northerners as there was nothing like a non-monolithic non uh, North anymore. The governors of the North should first and foremost realize that there is nothing like a monolithic North again. According, uh, secondly, they should know that the Middle Bay can never be part of such a position that is anti-people. So they should all hide their faces in shame for saying power will not go to the South in 2023. They should remember that because of what happened to M.K. Wabiola in 1999, we zoned the presidency to the South, West, not just South. The country has maintained that rotation so that peace can reign in the country and no part of the country will feel alienated. Therefore, in this situation, for them to insist that presidency should be retained in the north after that zone has completed its eight years tenure in 2023 is a shame. It means they want Nigeria to break up. That is what they are after. They are not lovers of Nigeria. They are the people who hate Nigeria and it is obvious by the position they took yesterday. But they must realize that the middle bet is not with them because there is no more monolithic north. Even the traditional rulers of Middle Bet who were invited to that meeting in Kaduna were not with them. They were in attendance and watched what transpired, but I can assure you that their hearts were not there. On the issue of that, we know that Governor Wiki and his Lagos counterpart felt it was not proper for them to generate that and get so little. The matter is currently at the apex court and it is not for anyone to say anything or take a position at this moment. It is the Supreme Court that will determine the position of the Constitution and the matter will be stated or rested for good, he said. Hmm. A lot of people after the meeting or when the Northern governors issued their communique, a lot of people were like, ah, ah, the Northern governors, the Northern Governors Forum, they are the ones that issued that. And the chairman of the Northern Governor is uh, from the Middle Bay. What, what is happening? What is happening? What does it mean? Even the governor of uh, Benue State, Sam uh, Autumn, we know what he has been standing for. And people are like, so they are part of this whole thing, but now they are coming out to tell them that say, no, 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 that is not our position. We might be there, but we just try to observe what you were doing. You know, I've always said it. The people who are shouting one Nigeria, one Nigeria, they are the real enemies of this country. They know that there are problems, but they say no. We don't want. We don't. We don't want to know whether there's problem or not. Whether you are suffering or not. All we want is that this status quo must remain. You are complaining. We don't want your complaint is not. Is not. Is not. Does not bother us. You see problem. Let everybody sit together and trash this whole thing no they don't want it and that is the same position they are always taking when it comes to this issue of a uh, issue of a uh, s men who are destroying everything they will just tell you they have to be there whatever they are doing is inconsequential but they just have to be there when people are not saying what these guys are doing see what they are doing they are taking people's lives we don't care but the constitution says every anybody can stay anywhere that is the position they are always taking whether they are going somewhere or they just try to rattle the the, the people of the South is a different board game entirely. Even from the Northern governors, they, stay, they, they are telling us that uh, some of the governors, some of the people had said that the best thing to do is to retreat power to the South. It has to be like that. But to me, at the end of the day, they rotate, though, but at least let the first thing be done first before we now talk about uh, what follows. Because like if two objects falls on top of each other, you have to, before you remove the one that is under, you have to remove the first one on top. Then we begin to talk about the one that is under. So let us even get that uh, settled. Now these guys saying that uh, they are not part of them, that they are on their own. We know nothing that you are talking about. You are on your own. You are on your own. 
so they've disassociated themselves sure we the northerners are anti-people anti-development because we are the cause of the national backward at 61 i will leave the north for south if we cannot love and see each other with with an equally eyes somebody said they have wasted their eight years now they are crying you know, that buari has a cause problem for them but they were supporting buari now, now that everything is getting to an end they are now saying that hey, oh buari has done this he has put, put them in problem and at the end of the day they've wasted their their time you wasted their time and because they know like i said they know what awaits them because all these injustice that buari has meted on other people without even looking back and that is the reason why they are doing what they are doing like i i told people that if you think these guys with all this rubbish they are doing that they want to leave power by 2023 that you'll be joking because they're not doing this things for 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 fun because they know that it will bounce back back on them it will bounce back on them so what are we saying are they not proving it now that they don't want to leave power because they know that they're going to be dead because if you know that you're going to leave power it's going to get to other people's turn you definitely you know that what you did to them will be done to you as well and heaven will not fall heaven will never fall from 1960 to 1999 it is 39 years out of that 39 years northerners held power for 34 years now tell me what are the positive impacts of the 34 years rule on the lives of northern talakawas Today, North is the world capital of poverty, illiteracy, insecurities, and other socioeconomic backwardness. People like Akim Baba Ahmed are the ones enjoying power monopoly, not the poor masses in the North. He claims that the North have the number. That is it. not have numeric strength over other regions. Good. The questions are, cannot survive without the resources of the South and Middle Belt that federal government largely depends on. How has the number that Akim Baba Ahmed brags about translate to economic development for the North and Nigeria as a whole. What is the essence of the population that are only useful for power hijacking or monopolization and dangerous and a dangerous for a country election to be decided by illiterate and unpatriotic people? Northern governors cannot dictate for southern states how to govern ourselves. It is beyond their jurisdiction. If not, says that it is unconstitutional zone to zone presidency in a multicultural, multi-ethnic society like Nigeria, but it is constitutional for North Northern APC to rule for 40 years. This is what Southern governors must do immediately. One, South as a whole must disassociate itself from the 2023 presidential election, meaning a South will not participate in preparation for the 2023 presidential election no participation in election process for 2023 south will not vote in 2023 election we have the right to vote and not to vote south will conduct its own election and its own time when not must have sworn in their elected president south will not be a part of this south will run its own government no more federal allocations to south no more revenue to federal government North will run their own federal government. South will run its own federal government. So guys, let's say your opinion. These are suggestions from people because of the position of these people. But the middle bit has come out to say, no, 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 we are not part of that arrangement because it does not speak well. Leave your comments down there below and let us know your thoughts.